Hi guys, it's Jessica and it has been way too long. I am so excited to be sitting down and filming for you guys today. Today's video is going to be one of my infamous update vlogs. I feel kind of awkward doing these like every few months, but I also feel like I can't just like spring back into action. Like I have to sort of tell you guys what has been happening in my life. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So I recently graduated from high school, which that's insane. I graduated on June 10, and there's honestly so much to say about that topic. But prior to that, I was basically just soaking in every part of my senior year. My senior year of high school was by far the most insane, but like most rewarding year of high school so far. Everybody always places a lot of emphasis on the junior year of high school and how stressful it is and how you have to deal with college and the SATs. For some reason, I sort of had this mindset that after junior year, things would be pretty chill. It was gonna be my last year of high school. I would know the school super well and things would just be a whole lot easier. And <laughs> that was not really the case. The college application process that happens in senior year was like the most insane process ever. Kind of more insane than taking the SATs definitely more insane than junior year. It really kind of forces you to do a ton of introspection and really just think about how you want to live your life going forward. Where do you want to be going? What kind of place? Geographically, socially, academically, just where do you want to be? It felt like I was working really hard all throughout high school and this was sort of the final stretch and it was like, oh my gosh, this moment that I've been working up to is here. It was really intense. I think it was one of the most stressful but most valuable processes that I have ever gone through and ultimately after all of the applications were sent and everything was said and done and after I got into schools and revisited them I ended up picking UC Berkeley so I'm really excited I wanted to share that with you guys because I would love to kind of like document my experience there and I know that it is gonna be a big part of my life in the next four years that's where I'm gonna be spending my time so yes I am starting at Cal Berkeley this fall with the class of 2021. It's really insane. Honestly, a year ago, I keep saying this to all my friends, a year ago I would not have imagined how anything would have shaped out, but I'm really excited to go there. I'm still an undecided major, but I'm thinking maybe media studies. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. We'll see. But yeah, so the whole college process kind of consumed like a lot of my year. I guess the remainder of my year was mostly just spent hanging out with my friends, hanging out with different people in my class and really just kind of trying to get to know everyone. I feel like it was a year of a lot of self-discovery. Like I said, it was the busiest year of my life, but definitely I just feel like I learned more about myself than I ever have. I feel like the whole college process gives you like your first taste of adulthood, kind of like stepping into it. I feel like it's the first process that I, I had control over, obviously, like where I applied and all that, but I didn't have total control of the outcome. And it was really scary, but it's also just a part of life. And it was really interesting to be exposed to a situation like that. And I feel really grateful to be happy with how it all turned out. Other than that, yeah, it was mostly just hanging out with friends, trying my hardest to fend off senioritis. Senioritis was so real so real but i pushed through and i graduated on june 10th which was just such an amazing experience i remember always looking up to the graduating seniors throughout high school in my school all of the grades were required to attend the seniors graduation so i would see it every year and it's just such an exciting moment everybody's worked so hard and it was just really beautiful to see everybody's excitement for the future i feel like by the end my class did really get a lot closer which was really cool to see then a few hours after graduation we had our senior grad night which was at our community center, there was a pool, there was an airbrush tattoo station, a dance floor. That was really fun. And ever since then, it's mostly just been hanging out with friends, 
sleeping a lot and starting to pick my classes for next year and just kind of think about what I am doing on this next journey. So it's all been crazy. So much happened this year. So now onto the present. I knew as soon as I had free time that I totally wanted to get back into YouTube. School and all the different components of it were very time consuming this year, but I have missed you guys so much. In my spring trimester of senior year, I took my first video production class and it was so fun. It was really funny. It was filled with like a lot of freshman boys. It was an introductory class and that was just, it really, it set a vibe for the class. It was intense. A lot of dabbing happened. <laughs> it was intense, but um, I learned a lot of really cool tricks about video production. I learned how to use Adobe Premiere. I've been using iMovie 11 forever and I'm really excited to switch over to something a little more intense, I guess. I want to do lookbooks, I want to do makeup tutorials. I've been really into like editorial, fun colored makeup looks lately. As you guys might be able to tell, I'm wearing like blue eyeliner today. It's a thing. I'm going to be going to LA in late July, so I want to do some sort of like montage. I just have a lot of little ideas floating around in my head, and I'm really excited to just develop them and put them into action this summer. And of course, if you guys have any requests, feel free to leave them down below. But yes, I think that that is pretty much it. I am really excited to be back. I cannot wait to make a ton of videos for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye everyone. <laughs>